So here we have the Hyundai Tucson. I'm uh, going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside from there. As we approach the back of the car you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well as that 60-40 split folding rear seat should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and the cool and temperature gauge. And on the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the middle at the bottom, you can see the total miles of this car. They are 24,891. And then above that, we have the main trip computer, uh, which will also show you what gear this car is in. It's an automatic. Uh, we're in park at the moment. You can change the information displayed in the central section using buttons on the steering wheel for various bits of driving data, including that digital readout for the speedometer that you see being displayed on the screen now. If we back out to the steering wheel, the buttons I was using a second ago are over on the right-hand side, along with cruise control and speed limiter. And on the left-hand side, we have our stereo and phone controls. The phone controls can only be used after such time as you pair the phone up to the car. And that is done over on the touch screen in the center just here. So you'd hit all menus and then hit the phone icon and follow instructions on screen from there. When it comes to music, we've got the radio, of course. Main volume for the stereo is just here, but we've got DAB, FM and AM radio available. If you're listening to your own music, you'd hit media, which is grayed out at the moment because nothing is connected. You can listen to your music uh, via uh, USB input or auxiliary input, Bluetooth audio, so that's streaming it wirelessly. Uh, and we've got Android Auto and Apple CarPlay as well. And then on the next screen, the satellite navigation for the vehicle. A really nice, easy system to use. Uh, there's a full video showing how that works, which you can find on our website and on our YouTube channel as well. If I pop the car into reverse, you'll also see a full color reversing camera with guidelines to show you what direction the car is headed in as well. Working our way down from that, uh, we then have the dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature, you can increase, decrease the fan speed, determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in, that button turns your air conditioning off or back on again. Or hit auto. The car will now take control of the temperatures you've asked for, or take control of the fan speed rather, to maintain those temperatures you've asked for. It'll also take control of the direction of the air as well. To override it, hit any manual setting. Auto has now gone off, and that will enable you to put it back on your own settings there. We have two 12 volt charging sockets, auxiliary and USB input as well. The gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox and then these buttons just here. So you can turn the parking sensors on and off. We can turn off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. That system is now off. And then we have these two buttons here. So the first one turns downhill brake control on and off. The second will put the vehicle into sport or normal mode. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.